So the last part is taking the data that we see here displayed in the pivot table and creating a chart from that information. So I will take my cursor and highlight O and P, which are the two columns in the first pivot table. Um, a chart would need to have the labels or names of the items and then the amount of what that item is. Once these two are selected, I'm going to insert and then choosing the option of chart. By default, it always ends up being a pie chart that shows up. But since I'm dealing with something that needs to show or the value of each item, I'm changing the chart type, which is in the chart editor. I'm changing that to columns. So that way I can kind of clearly see the amounts when compared to the others. Uh, one of the items that you will see here though is that the grand total has been included. That does not need to be in this chart. So I will have to return back to the pivot table and inside of the pivot table editor, I will uncheck show totals. And that removes the grand total option down at the bottom. And it gives me a view of what the information on the chart needs to be, which is I can see the different schools at the very bottom. And I'm assuming these are the values for each school. But one of the things that people would like to see is the actual numerical or data label to tell me exactly what this represents. To do that, go back over to the chart editor and you may not be able to see it pop up naturally. So you would click on the chart itself. You would go to the three dots and choose the option of edit chart. And that way the chart editor shows back up. With the two options you have here, one being set up, the other being customize, click on the customize option and then locate series from the list. Inside series, we're going to scroll down until we see the option of data labels. If I click on that, the actual numerical value of the column will show up so I can visually see exactly what it represents. In that same area, you also have the ability to customize the look of the actual labels. So I can choose the position of where they are. I can also choose the size, the font used, and even the color. I will take the time to go in and create two more charts, following the same process of highlighting the two columns, clicking insert chart, choosing under setup the type of chart that I want to display. In this case, I am going to go down and choose a bar chart. So then we can use this if I need to have more room in the dashboard. I will do the same thing that I did with the column, which is go to customize, series, and find the option for the data label. I will also go back to the pivot table itself and take off the option for grand total. I will skip to the last one right here, which is the dates or the number of people who actually registered on a certain date for the conference. Let me take off the grand total first. And then I will go ahead and highlight and insert a chart. This one is perfect the way it is. So it's a line graph and it will show me approximately what has happened over a period of time. Now, each of the charts that I have here on the array formula tab will need to be moved to the dashboard. So to make the move to the dashboard, you would click on a chart, choose the option of the three dots, and then pick copy chart, move to the sheet, that we're going to use for our dashboard. Click on edit 
and then choose the option of paste. I'm going to change the view. I'm going to zoom out a little bit so it's easier to see the entire page. And then I will click and drag and then resize the chart so that it fits within a space. So I will do the same for the other ones that are located on the Array Formula tab. items around on the dashboard so we can fill in the space and so that it's clear to the viewers exactly what the information represents. Please note that if you make any changes in the format on the dashboard chart, for example, if I click twice here to go ahead and remove the title, this change will not affect the other chart located on the array formula. So if I have new entries that happen, those new entries will be reflected inside of the array formula, which will also affect the data in the chart here and also on the dashboard.